Hi everyone, Brian Grieve here, Director of Education for Z1 Concept North America, and welcome to our head offices here in Fairfield, New Jersey, uh, to our studio where it all happens. And I have a fabulous artist with me today. This is the, the wonderful uh, Cara Lee. She's one of our education team. Hi, Cara. Hello, everyone. I'm really excited today to be showing you the V Harmony technique by our Kauai collection, highlighting our Decologic Lightener Level 9, and I'm also going to be using our Safe Lightener Complex while I go through with this technique. Okay, thanks, Cara. So uh, you can see Cara's uh, pre-done some of the uh, sections so that we can get ahead of the game here. Uh, so she's now going to explain the technique that she's running through and how it's very straightforward. It, it's a very uh, efficient technique to use in the salon. You can have a very bold effect or you can have a very soft and subtle effect, which is what, what we're practicing for you today. So Cara, so how, how big are the sections that you generally take? I take anywhere between a quarter and a half an inch section, depending on whether or not I'm going to be splitting that in half. Right now, I'm not going to, so I took roughly about a quarter of an inch section. In the front, it's a little bit thicker because I'm trying to highlight that front piece of her hair a little bit more. I really want that piece to pop around her hairline because every day when people are out in the sun, they get those nice natural highlights, and I'm really trying to mimic that with this technique. So I'm going through and I'm painting in different V sections, and you'll notice I'm going to be traveling with this section to see how that moves along her hairline on a day-to-day -day basis, depending on how she's going to wear her hair. Especially for my curly-haired girls out there, you're going to want to pay attention to that front piece due to the fact that that piece can curl differently every single day. You want to make sure it's completely saturated through on top and underneath. Sometimes you don't have to lighten underneath depending on the look that you're going for. That's going to give you a more subtle effect, but it's really important either way to make sure you have that saturation to allow for proper lightening. Excellent. And you, you can see the consistency of the lightener, the level 9 from Decalogic. Uh, what we recommend is a one-to-one is -one mixing ratio. So there's 30 grams of powder with 30 grams of, we're using uh, 30 volume. Uh, what we call emulsion, or you can call developer, uh, creates a creamy consistency so the, the lightener stays very stable on the hair, which is very important to, to Cara. So that, that point around the, the hairline, I think that's a very key point, uh, Cara. Can you want to sort of repeat that again for us, why that's so important for your clients? Yes, so when your clients have their hair done, they're going to be seeing this every single day. So it's really important to pay attention to those li little key pieces in the front. If they're pulling their hair back to go to the gym, you do not want them seeing stripes in the front of that hairline. You really want to make it nice and naturally blended, especially because of the fact that some of the clients who are going to have this may not want people to know that they even color their hair. Let's say they go away on vacation, they come back, you want people just to think it's completely natural. This is going to be a really good technique to allow that diversity in the hair without it being too dramatic. However, depending on the level of lightness that you're trying to achieve, you can make this a really bold look. You can throw some nice purple colors in there or some different blush blonde tones, ashy blonde, whatever you might have. But it's really important that when you're working around this hairline, you give some variation on where and how you're painting. So some pieces can be a little bit heavier saturated than others. That'll create a little bit extra lightness, which is what I mentioned earlier about that little piece in the front that you want it to pop around the hairline and it's important to know where your client parts their hair especially if they part their hair differently every day they can have a different look every single day no matter what you know or how their hair is styled so with these V sections you can alternate between going high and low some of the sections previously I kept my rear sec section here a little bit lower just to create some different height. I call that peaks and valleys. Those peaks and valleys are going to be the key to that dimension in the hair, which is always important when it comes to balayage because that's the real goal. Excellent. And I notice um, you're, you're using a technique when, you, when you're near the hairline, you're actually brushing backwards. Uh, what's, the, what's the importance of that, Cara? The importance of brushing this backwards is I'm slightly feathering the hair. And what that's doing is it's technically disrupting the panel of hair to make it a little bit uneven. And what that's going to do, rather than teasing the hair, sometimes that can get a little bit messy. When you're backcombing or teasing the hair for a lightening service, when you get back to the sink, sometimes it can be a mess to brush out. So by a little tip of the brush, when you get toward that hairline or toward that top section of the section, rather, what that's doing is it's creating ultimate blend in the hair without having to worry about any stripey pieces that look out of place. So you can do that with your brush, or if you have any sections that are painted a little bit too heavily, what you can do is you can also take the heel of your comb, and you can back comb that slightly toward that top section just to properly distribute all of that lightener. 
Now this up here is really soft, but if I were going for a stronger level of lift and I really wanted to get that max lift out of this lightener, then you're gonna saturate it as heavy as possible. Usually what I do is I saturate most toward the ends and then I feather that up toward the hairline just to create that really nice flow between the different levels of highlights that you have in there. Excellent, and I think it's a very, very important point. And it, it creates a softer blend in the hair also so you don't get like a, what we call a demarcation line. And in between, you'll notice uh, in between all the lightener, Kara uh, is using the Z1 concept uh, soft stripes, uh, which are really, really cool because they're, they're an alternative to using foils. And uh, there's no folding, there's no bending, there's no using the tail of the comb. Uh, and they're very light and they're actually very, very comfortable for, for the client's experience when they're having their hair colored. So we're moving into the, the final section. So you can see already just how efficient this technique is. Remember, it's the V-Harmony technique from the Kawaii collection uh, from uh, Milkshake and Z1 Concept. We're using the Decologic uh, Level 9 Lightener, which gives us the maximum level of lift uh, depending on where you want to go. The final result for this is to be very soft and very gentle for those clients that don't want that, you know, that really powerful blonde, almost like, uh, I think, Kara mentioned the, the blush technique, uh, and she's going to share that uh, formula with you as well as soon as she's finished here. So here we go. So another key point of what I want to share with everybody today, it's really important to use nice, soft bristle brushes. Right now I have our milkshake brush that I'm using, but the most important part is that you want to keep this brush as clean as possible. Notice that I have a bead of product right on that end of the brush because it's going to give me the most control of where that lightener is going. If you have a brush that's very messy, you're going to end up with a result that's messy only by default because you can't always control where that lightener is going to go. So this is really about max control and this is going to help you speed through this a little bit quicker without having to correct a mess that you could be making by having a messy brush. So that's another great point. And there is actually four brushes in the, in the set, but here's the, a very cute brush which is on an angle, which is great when you're working with very, very fine sections or the clients with the very fine hair. And you can see that the ends of the, the bristles are very feathered, so you get a very, very gentle action working through the hair. So there you go. So there, uh, a quick recap from uh, Kawaii Collection, uh, V-Harmony Technique. Uh, thank you, Kari, did an excellent job. So um, now we want to see that finished result. So if you want to just uh, take your little girl apart and um, we can uh, have a look, because I'm, sure, uh, I'm sure everybody wants to see what the, the finished result is. So talk us through uh, your formula once you've processed your lightener. Okay, so what I did back at the sink is I gave her one good shampoo of the Silver Shine sh collection that we have. So first I washed her with the Silver Shine and I let that sit on for about three minutes to cancel out any extra warmth in that color. My look that I was going for today was for a blush blonde. So this is for the clients who have that really nice blended color and the nice part about it is that it's going to give you a different type of tone. It's slightly pink. So I used our powder in smoothies along with our red. So I used 25 grams of the powder in smoothies with five grams of the red. And what that does is with that pink and lilac base that the powder has, it really complements well with the blonde that she had a pale yellow of. And then the red basically mixing it all together gives you that nice soft pink color and you can see right here all that nice dimension right in that hairline so when she pulls her hair back she's got those nice pieces without it being too stripy and it's really really important to pay attention to that the most and sometimes what i like to do back at the sink when i'm done with this is take a little bit of extra lightener and paint that hairline and make it pop even a little bit more so you can get those pieces that'll pick up that color even further Okay, so uh, from uh, Z1 Concept and myself, Brian Grieve, and Cara Curry. So, Cara, how, how, Cara, how can we follow you? Okay, you can find me on Instagram. My name is Cara Corey Beauty, K A R A C O R R Y B E A U T Y. <laughs> I post every day pretty much, and I'm always posting my formula. So, if you want to see my colors and what I'm doing, I'm always going to have information for you. And I've said this before, I'll say it again, I'm always an educator. You can message me at any time and I'd be happy to help, especially when it comes to different products or if you, you know, want any more product knowledge or techniques, I'm your girl. And boy, does this girl love a camera. She's <laughs> outdoing me. Okay, and I'm Brian Grieve. You'll get me on Instagram also, Brian29Grieve, G-R-I-E-V-E. -E. Again, once thank you, Modern Salon, pleasure, and uh, we're really excited for this very swift technique. So. Watch out and go to z1concept.com for even more information. Thank you. Bye.